Hello, my friend. Today we talk about how to communicate with big groups of people. It can be in meetings, can be in your presentations. So far we've discussed about one-on-one -on -one conversations. Today we see how you communicate with big groups. Meetings are the vehicles for gathering resources from many sources and directing them toward a common goal. However, meetings are widely disliked. Most people feel they are usually boring and time-wasting. If you can gain a reputation for holding decisive effective meetings, your team members will value this efficiency and will prepare well so that their contribution will be heard. If your meetings are productive, you will gain reputation for being and guiding people for efficiency. But how do we make it happen? Here we have the steps. You need to know, attendees, who should attend. Be strict. A meeting loses its effectiveness if too many people are involved. Duration. You should designate a time for the end of the meeting so that everyone can plan the rest of the day with confidence. Make the time limit for the meeting known in advance. Third point, agenda. Inform participants of the subject of the meeting in advance. Fourth, coordinate contributions. Engage people to meet the goals of your meeting. When you think of a meeting, you have to be clear about your goal, your objective for this meeting. Then, you invite people who can collaborate toward this goal. And you ask their contribution. When you follow this sequence of who you will invite, what is your goal, when is your meeting? What will be talked? And then, how can people contribute with their expertise? Your meetings will be successful. Comment here about the best meeting you've attended. Why do you feel this was the best meeting? Share this video with your friends. Thank you very much. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Today we start a new chapter. Chapter 12. Assertive listening.